Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Whiz video number 10, where once again I take you on a very quick journey through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now something quite specific this week, but it is a website that I will be absolutely lost without because it helps me survive those notoriously difficult lessons where you're trying to teach students how to measure things with rulers and measure angles, construct angles and use a compass. And the website I'm talking about is the classic one by Mr. Reddy and it is it and it is his amazing geometry toolbox. So there it is, Mr. Reddy Geometry Toolbox. Now this is a flash file that runs straight off the internet, so no need to install anything, and it will run direct off any interactive whiteboard or laptop or projector. Um, now, in the past, before I discovered this website, I've tried to explain to students how to use compasses by hand or getting one of those old fashioned ones on the board. And it's all right, but if you've got a class of 30 or 31 students, it's very, very difficult to convey clearly how everything works. So this is where this toolbox can come in like an absolute dream. Um, I was teaching my year sevens the other day how to construct angles and I started off by saying just draw, draw a line please of seven centimeters long and straight off we had misconception alert because students were doing this little classic thing. So they were starting at one and measuring all the way up to seven. And because I had this toolbox handy, I was able to say, okay, is that a line of seven centimeters? And then get the other students to explain where the mistake may have been made. And if you just drag your ruler along, we can see, no, that's actually six centimeters. So the ruler tool is very handy. Um, just to use it, if you just drag it around, you can move things. And if you drag this end, you can tilt things, which will become very important in a second. Um, right, so there's a rule tool. If you want to get rid of anything, you just give it a little click there. Uh, say I want to measure myself an angle of 40 degrees from there. Now, any of you have ever tried teaching students how to use a protractor will know that this is a uh, very relaxing experience um, because students have misconceptions left, right, and center here. But this geometry toolbox can actually help that. If we grab our protractor and uh, again, just drag it around by clicking on it and dragging it and line it up there, we can then say, okay, where's my angle of 40 degrees? Is it that little classic there or is it that one there? And again, we can emphasize to students that it's all about the zero. There's zero degrees count up, 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees put ourselves a little dot with my pen tool there. Now the pen tool you can draw kind of freehand, da, 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 da. pencil tool keeps things in a nice straight line. So that's very, very handy. Okay, click off my uh, pen tool. I'm gonna remove my protractor. I'm gonna get my ruler tool back. Now I'm gonna, this is a little bit awkward sometimes. So line it up there. I'm then gonna tilt it. Oh, that's not too bad. We should go through that point get my pencil tool at the ready and I'm gonna draw myself a lovely straight line that goes through there. I'm gonna click off my pencil tool. I'm gonna to click off my ruler. I'm gonna just double check that with my protractor looking lovely 40 degrees and I'm gonna use my pen tool. Let's go for a bit of blue this time. Pen tool to label that angle 40 degrees. Now, so I apologize, I'm trying to use one of those uh, keypad mags things which is a bit pathetic but there you go 40 degrees and finally the other absolute recipe for disaster is when you ask students to use a compass but again once again mr reddy's pretty handy when it comes to this so if you get your ruler out we'll just have to tilt it back down there and we're going to say to the students okay i'd love you to um get your compass and set it so the pointy bits are say seven centimeters apart so you get your compass, here's the compass tool there. Um, if you click on that side of it, you can move it. If you click on this side of it, you can extend it. And that side is when you're ready to draw. So I'm gonna move that to there. I'm gonna go seven centimeters to there. That looks good. I'm going to move my compass into position there. And then when I'm ready to draw, I click on this side and I draw myself a lovely arc that goes round there. Now, typical, I've messed up a little bit here because my pencil line doesn't go right through my arc, but I can correct that. I can just, because a pencil defaults to be a straight line, I don't actually have to get my ruler out again. I can just extend it through there. And there you go. And finally, to complete my lovely little triangle that I'm constructing, I can just join my um, this point up through to this point and of course normally I'd get the ruler out and there's my lovely triangle but what's really really nice and I don't know if you've found this but one thing students really struggle with is measuring angles like that one up there but Mr. Reddy's toolbox can help here because again if if we 
click the center of the protractor it drags it around and if we click either side we can tilt it so if I just line it up so it's on that dot and I tilt it a little bit around there we can see now is that about 34 degrees or is it about 147 degrees or is it 152 degrees again we can talk about what makes sense and how to count these angles and I just think this is a really, really nice, simple website, an indispensable interactive whiteboard tool for doing all things to do with measuring construction and all that kind of stuff. And that's why it's the WebWiz uh, website of the week. If you've used this website or you have any comments or thoughts, please hop onto the TES page and share your thoughts at the bottom of the page. And I shall return with a fresh, brand new video next week. Bye for now.